Okay, guys, Chrono 16 here. Today's date, November 12th, 2014. As you can see, we're back on the air, guys. Uh, we obviously got taken down for several weeks there. Long story short, we were taken down over a bogus claim that uh, was made uh, to design to take us off the air. Uh, without getting into too many details, we were pretty much screwed over uh, and we've gotten that taken care of. And I want to thank a certain female out there. You know who you are. I don't know if I should mention your name, uh, so out of respect, I'm not. Uh, she's a well-known YouTuber. She's been around for uh, quite some time here on YouTube. And she gave us the correct information on how to get our channel back online through YouTube by filing a counterclaim because the information that YouTube gives you to file counterclaims isn't fully correct. There's certain things you have to say. Uh, so I want to thank her for that. I also asked another popular YouTuber here on YouTube that's been on here since 2006, sent him three or four messages and he didn't even respond to any of my messages or even attempt to try to help um, us out here at all. Uh, my whole perception of that guy has changed. I don't hate him or anything or don't dislike him. It's just kind of sad that this person had just went through the same thing, had his main channel taken down, and we supported him, told people to go sub his backup channels and everything, and he didn't even ever respond to any message that I ever sent him. Uh, so I, that's just the way it is. So that's that, guys. Anyway, Russian bomber patrols to reach Gulf of Mexico. Now, as you guys know, we've been covering the Russian thing here since we've been back online, and it's getting crazy, guys. Mainstream media is not even hardly mentioning what's really going on over there in the Ukraine and with Russia. But Moscow, Russia's long-range bomb bombers will conduct regular patrol missions from the Arctic Ocean to the, to, to the Caribbean in the Gulf of Mexico. The military said Wednesday, a show of muscle reflecting tensions with the West over Ukraine. Now, a statement from the defense minister, Sergei, I uh, can't pronounce the last name, came as NATO's chief commander accused Moscow of sending new troops and tanks into the Ukraine, a claim quickly rejected by Russia. This aggression, we're, we're, which the United States calls aggression, is going to continue. What's going on, guys, is the... New World Order led United States corrupt government has been putting certain pressures on Russia over there. Russia is backed into the corner. They're doing all these things. They're flying all these patrols. They're flying into other people's airspaces because they feel like they have to because they're backed into a corner. You have the United States trying to pressure them into doing what they wanted to do. And Vladimir Putin come out the other day and point blank said that Russia will not be controlled or bullied by the United States. And if they have to start World War III to do it, they will. Point blank. So they have increased all their patrols all across the world. Now they're saying they're going to be flying uh, jets and bombers down in our Gulf, down in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and they're going to continue to do what they feel that they have to do. Their ally, China, obviously is, is starting their aggressions over the, in the Pacific Ocean. Nothing good is going to come out of this Russian situation, guys. I'm not saying Russia is the bad guys. I'm saying the United States is the bad guys. The New World Order-led United States is the reason why all this stuff is happening. Uh, there's a reason why the gas prices are dropping here in the United States, guys. It's not to make you happy. It's also to pressure Russia economically over there as well. So that's one of the other reasons why the gas prices are dropping here in the United States is to com to put more pressure on Russia to back out of the Ukraine and other things as well. So this is a situation that we really need to keep our eyes on Russia because they are backed into a corner and they are doing what they feel they have to do to maintain their sovereignty and to maintain uh, their best interests throughout the world. And the United States is making that very hard for them. The United States and NATO, which the United States is putting pressure on NATO and the European countries over there to put pressure on Russia and it's causing Russia to start to lash out. This is a very 
very dangerous situation that we all need to keep our eyes on over there. Now you can check this story out linked under this video over at the nworeport.me website guys. Also linked under this video is our backup channels. Chrono 16 Reloaded, new, the news guy, it's also our backup channel as well. They're linked on this video, guys. If you haven't already, please go over there and sub those channels in case something else happened because uh, there's a lot of things that uh, certain powers that be don't want certain channels saying or doing, and they're doing whatever they can to silence them. So please sub our backup channels linked under this video. We're back. Hopefully, we're going to be back, guys. Hopefully, everything will run on from here we're going to continue to alert you of news that we really believe you should be being told instead of all this nonsense about uh comets blowing up in the atmosphere of mars and and, and transmissions coming from uh, comets that uh, aren't uh, actually there's no transmissions coming from so instead of feeding you all that bull we want to try to feed you news that you really should be aware of anyway thanks for watching much love god bless